Hello, this is Old Soldier, the fishing vest, utilitarian garment, or how to look like a goober in one easy lesson. Maybe a little bit of both. They are very useful, but sometimes you do stand out like a sore thumb. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, so here are two well-worn fishing vests. One from Cabela's, one from Woolrich, and I've used them both. One thing I will say for them, they are very utilitarian, and they've got a lot of pockets, and it's useful to carry stuff. But in certain settings, they do make you stand out. And if you're carrying a concealed firearm, that is that goes against the whole purpose of it. You might as well be wearing a sign that says, I'm carrying a firearm. So uh, let's talk about it. Well, uh, basically, I've worn these for years in a capacity where I had to carry a firearm, or was required to carry a firearm. And I will say this. If you are in, depending upon the circumstances, but generally speaking, if you are in a rural area and live and work in a rural area, like I did for years, nobody pays you two glances wearing one of these things. There's a lot of fishermen. There are other people who are outdoorsmen. For whatever reason, nobody cares. Also, I've also worked in very populated, very densely populated cities, and you wear them. And yes, while it does conceal a firearm, if you're carrying it, you might as well wear a sign on you because you stick out as much. You might as well wear a sign that says, hey, I'm carrying a concealed firearm. So rather, it rather defeats the purpose, at least in some settings. But uh, let's talk about the garments themselves. First one up is Cabela's. I've used this for years. Things that I really like about it, as with all fishing vests, some people call them photographer vests, there's a lot of pockets. Very handy. There's uh, two pen holders. And very, you can tell this day, this is a notepad that's been in here for God knows how long, but it's useful. There's a lot of pockets. There's almost too many pockets. But uh, when you're carrying stuff around, it's very handy. Now you can see on both of these, this one, you'll see the other one from Woolrich's, the collar is worn and worn out. Does it really affect it? Not really. Does it make it look a little seedy? Yeah, sometimes, but I'm not wearing these things to formal events. The mesh back does a nice job of keeping you cool and circulating the air. Sewing and materials are really rather good. However, this thing has seen a lot of use. And yeah, it's worn out. But that said, it stood up fairly well. Zippers and sewing on both of these, pretty good. This thing has been used a lot and still hangs in there. Don't wear it much anymore because really I don't need to. But overall, decent piece of gear. Once again, you can tell I've worn that out. And I think it's more through hardware than poor construction. The Woolrich brand, same thing. Collar is worn out. And you can tell this thing has seen heavy use also. And still has held up fairly well. I haven't had this one quite this long, but this thing has seen a lot of wear and tear as well. Zippers and sewing on this one are good and really to me it's a push which brand you want. What I paid for both was not prohibitively expensive and they both did their job. One thing that I should add these work great if you're using them for fishing and photography. The issue with these is not that are they utilitarian or not it's how well do they actually help you concealing a firearm. The utilitarian issue, whether you wear them to carry stuff, you're a photographer, a fisherman, or a hunter, they'll work just fine. But, like I said, in some settings, if you're trying to use it to carry a concealed firearm, it's like waving a flag and wearing a sign that says you're carrying a concealed firearm. Well, that's it for this week. Fishing vests, love them, hate them, let me know in the comments. This is Old Soldier out.